Hey family, it's Tasha Mom Bear Prepping. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You already know what time it is, baby. Get your drink, pull up. Let's talk about it. So I want to discuss, you know, the the devastation that's happening in Maui right now, right? You know, you have these fires. First of all, it's a really bad situation because anytime a chaos, a, a crisis happens on an island, um... I can just imagine the panic because it's it's an island, right? It's 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 not it's not like you can just run away from it or drive away. Yes, you can drive away. It's large. You can drive from one end to the other end, that type of thing. But it's got to be scary when you have something raging through it like a fire and and people are dying. And what I thought was I guess what is horrible is the fact that more and more um, body counts are, are rising, right? The body count is rising, you know, literally watched, you know, a news story on it where it said just a handful of people had, had perished. And I was like, okay, thank God, you know, although it's horrible, it's devastation. Like if you see the pictures, it's like war zone. It's horrible, right? Um, but quickly within hours, that number was rising and it's continuing to rise. And so that is sad. That is horrible. And so I want to talk to you guys today about, you know, what have you thought about what your flee plan is? Now, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that there is very, very few things or reasons why I would leave my home, right? We are not a bug out type of family. We, um, although we have plans, we, listen, 99% of, of, um, crisis and emergencies that happen, we would stay in our, we would stay in our house. Okay. We would stay in our location. We would not leave. Um, however, let's say for example, a fire was ravaging the area. Like there's no way you're not going to make it like you need to leave, right? They are like urging, um, you to leave and you have to leave the area. And that's a situation where you leave the area you pray to God you don't lose your home and that you can return back to something. And then, of course, you rebuild. Depending on what you lose, the severity of it, you're going to rebuild. Um, and that's that's our plan. We would rebuild and we would stay there, um, yada, yada, yada. Um, but regular SHTF events happening, chaotic, panic buying, collapse, whatever you name it, we're not leaving. There's no, we're, we're bugging out, right? We're, we're buying land now. We won't be in the cities. We won't be near any cities. And so we won't need to be bugging out and getting away from anybody. But do you have an evacuation plan for if something happens? Depending on where you live and what situations could happen will depend on, do you need to leave or not? If somebody lives on the West Coast, you should have an evacuation plan, a fully planned to get out of Dodge, if you start getting alerts on your phone for tsunami, right? If you know for a fact you're in the area, that's no, oh, I'll just get on my roof and I'm just going to, I'm just going to hope it's high enough. You need to leave the area, right? So you have to have a fully plan. What is your plan for certain things that happen? Um, what is your plan? What do you have in the car? What is already packed? What is maybe in the totes already and in the car already, or maybe in totes that you're going to pack up and take somewhere? Where are you going? Do you have the money set aside for that already? Do you have credit cards set aside for that already? Do you have cash set aside already for that? Do you have important documents, clothes, right? Change of clothes, um, you know, your regular toiletries, right? Your change of underwear, your socks. Like, do you have the things you need for? I've done several videos on evacuation bags and different bags, but people don't seem to want to listen to that. And it's hard because it's it's all fun and games until it's not fun and games, right? And so we should have bags ready to go. We should have a plan. We should have something set so that if we have to leave, we can leave quickly and we have stuff already ready to go. We're not panicking, trying to just grab stuff and think in the middle of an emergency stuff we need to grab and go. And so you should be putting that stuff in a bag, in a tote, in a whatever, and having it either set to the side, ready, where the whole family knows what the plan is. If we had to leave, this is the stuff we're grabbing. We're going to put this in the car and leave. Or it's stuff, what can you stage in the car already? Um, also important to this is animals and how you get animals out of a situation, whether that's livestock, whether that's personal animals. Like how do you um, leave and flee and, and make sure that you're able to take everybody? How does that, how, what does that look like, right? Of course, there's stuff you can do to mitigate because this, what I'm talking today is not just fire and fleeing, but 
Fire tends to be one of the biggest reasons why somebody would flee from their home, right? There's a lot of situations that happen that, you know, I'm not, we're not leaving, right? But that's a big one, right? If you live somewhere where it's earthquake and you live in a high rise in downtown, right? That's, that's horrible. Okay. If you make it, you know, you're probably not going to want to be sticking around and just say, well, screw it. I'm just going to live in the rubble, right? You're going to want to be trying to get out if you even can, right? Um, same thing in areas with tsunamis. That's hardcore. I mean, maybe you get alerts, maybe you don't, and you're trying to just go. How do you do that, right? And so how do you flee? Maybe it's a nuclear exchange of, of weapons and people want to run from that. I don't think you can run from that. I don't think that any place is safe. And so the idea that something has happened, you made it, and now you're going to get in the car and drive somewhere that's supposedly safe, when in theory you could just be driving into another place that was hit already or is going to be hit in the future, or you're going into the weather patterns, and so you're actually driving into a, an area that's going to be worse than if you would have stayed. And so for that, for example, is we're staying, right? We're staying where we're at. We have gear. We have um, different things that we would, you know, um, put into effect. And um, so there's very few things that have us fleeing. But, you know, fires, if you're, let's say, watching a fire, watching a fire, all of a sudden the fire is upon you. You're not just going to stay there and get burnt up, right? You're going to, you're going to leave. Um, the, the, the point though is, are you ready to have to do that, right? Are you prepared um, and have the things that are important to you in life already kind of packed, stage, ready to go so that you have those things? You know, if you lose your house, do you have your, your personal documents, right? And a minimum copies, right, of documents, you've got to have stuff so that you can, you know, essentially start life over or get the ball rolling on your identity and the things that you need to do, right? Um, devastating what's happening in Maui, but emergency crisis happen everywhere and, th and life is getting crazy, right? Can't even keep up with all the things that are happening. And so um, all they would say is, Pull out your emergency plans, see what you have, emergency plans you should be writing out, writing down, you should be going over with family members, you should go be going over it with the kids and family members um, so that you understand. If you're a parent and you still have kids and the school system, you need to know their emergency plans. What happens when certain things happen? What events happen that have the school putting your kids on a bus and taking them away from the school? What happens so that you know when certain events happen, I know that that's what they're doing. The kids are leaving. They're going to be on the go. And then where are they going, right? They're going to be on the go, but where are they going? What location? And so that's important to know, right? What what events would they just shelter in place and stay there, right? You need to know those things so that you can plan it out and so that the kids too know already what's going to happen. Like, hey, if this happens and they put you on a bus, this is what's going to happen, right? And you're just kind of explaining it so they know so that that panic is not setting in for them as well, okay? So pull out these emergency plans, use situations that happen like this, um, devastation to help teach you um, the importance of, hey, this is a sign of that you need to make sure that you're ready to go for your own stuff, your own area, your own home, if stuff was to happen, okay? So figure it out, take a look at stuff, plan it out, write it out, share it with your family, make sure you guys all know what's going on, and um, take care. All right. So I'll take, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.